Have you used an outside node in the color tab here in DaVinci Resolve? I just learned what it was and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So I'm here in the color tab in DaVinci Resolve 19 Studio. I've got a little shot here with someone running through a puddle and I already used the magic mask to highlight their shoes or to select their shoes. So that way I can adjust them however I might want to. But what if I wanted to quickly adjust everything on the outside of the shoes? Yes, you could keep this node and then, you know, hit this guy and choose the inverse. But another quick way to do it is just to come to your node where you've got maybe power windows. If you don't have a studio, the magic mask or any other way you might have selected, you know, a specific thing in this particular node. And we could just right click on there and come down to add node and choose outside node. And you see there's a little keyboard shortcut there for it. And what that's gonna do now is select everything outside of whatever you selected in that node in the beginning there, or it doesn't have to be in the beginning of the line here, it could be anywhere, but whatever you selected in this node right here, when you right click, choose add node and add outside, it's gonna select the inverse of whatever that is, whether you've got multiple power windows, whatever you got going on there, it's gonna select the inverse. So now if I came here, we can see what's selected. And then I could come in and just do whatever I want to the background. Maybe I want the shoes to really stand out. So I'm gonna bring down that background a little bit. And now those shoes are really brought out in the shot. Now let's say I had another regular node here and then I added a few more power windows, maybe some circles here just to, you know, do different things, maybe some uh, secondary adjustments on things. Maybe I want the puddle to be a little bit brighter here. We'll just go ahead and brighten that up. And then let's just say for whatever reason, I want the tree in the background there to be lit up a little bit. I'm gonna add another circle. We're gonna just kind of feather this guy a little bit. I'm gonna add a little brightness there. Why? I don't know, just an example here. But now let's say, okay, we've got these areas selected. Now I could copy the node and then invert these two power windows, but instead just right click, come on down to add node, add outside. And now everything on the outside of those nodes, I can change. Let's say, eh, I wanna make it a little more purple, right? And if I push it really far, you can see where our power windows are because it's not affecting those areas, right? Now, obviously you're not gonna make it purple like this, but you see how it works where you can select the inverse of whatever is in a particular node. Really handy, I think I'll be using that one now that I know about it, called the outside node here in DaVinci Resolve. I think it's always been around. It's not new in 19, at least as far as I know, it's always been around, but it's one of those tools that may come in handy for you if you're doing a lot of power windows, selecting, you know, inverses of things and, and all that kind of fun stuff here in the color tab. So that wraps up Quick Tip Tuesday. It was nice to hang with you for a few minutes here on this Tuesday morning. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.